Hi, this is Phil from Simply Rhino, and in this video we're going to take a look at installing V-Ray for Rhino. We're going to first take a look at doing a standalone installation on a local machine, and then we're going to look at doing a network installation. This is where we have the license for V-Ray on a remote machine or a server, and Rhino and the V-Ray plugin on a local machine. Finally, we're going to look at some troubleshooting techniques that we can use to diagnose problems with a V-Ray installation. There are two elements to the V-Ray for Rhino software, the first of which is a USB hardware key and the second of which is the downloadable software. When you purchase your V-Ray for Rhino from Simply Rhino, your USB hardware key will already be programmed with your license information. You'll also be sent full installation details and a login for the Chaos Group website. To download the software, visit chaosgroup.com, log in with the details that you've been given and go to the download section. You should see a screen something like this that shows you the software that you have available for download. Make sure that you download the correct plugin for the version of Rhino that you have. There are separate 32 and 64-bit plugins for Rhino 5 and it's essential that you install the correct plugin. You'll need to download the same software irrespective of whether you want a local installation or a network installation. Once you've downloaded the software, the software should appear in your downloads and you can then move this installer to another location. Before you install V-Ray for Rhino, it's first of all worth opening Rhino and making sure that you have the latest version. You can do this by going to Help and Check for Updates and Rhino will tell you whether or not it's up to date. Close down Rhino and as with all software it's a good idea to make sure that you pause your virus protection whilst you're installing. Then it's just a simple case of double clicking on the installer and letting the installer run. Here we're installing our dealer copy of V-Ray for Rhino. You would either have a commercial version, which is ADV software, or you'd have an educational software, which has the suffix EDU. And it's important that you install the right version of the software for the license. So accept the agreement, and then for um, a standalone installation, we install all the components. Make sure that the root rhinoceros directory is the correct one. So in this case we're installing a 64-bit plugin and we want to install it to the Rhino 5 64-bit folder. And then we can start with the installation. will be prompted midway through the installation to install the Wibu key setup. This is the software for the USB hardware lock. And we'll run this in English language. Install the default components and you can skip the README if you want to. The V-Ray installation will then finish. And create an uninstaller. And then it's important that we keep this option which is ticked by default, which is register V-Ray license server as service. 
Okay, so once we finish the installation, we can then plug the USB license key into uh, a USB port on your machine and restart your computer. So having put the USB key in, we've restarted the machine and I'm now going to open up Rhino. And you can see now that Rhino is loading uh, the V-Ray plugin. Uh, and while it's doing this, the startup time for Rhino will increase slightly. Okay, so Rhino is now open. First thing we need to do is to go to Render and go to Current Render and select V-Ray for Rhino. You'll see when we do this that we get a couple of new toolbars. Uh, these toolbars can be dragged out and then docked with our main tabs, should we wish. So we have a V-Ray for Rhino toolbar, which has materials, options, frame buffer, production renderer, real-time renderer, and then some ground plane lighting and V-Ray proxy buttons. And then we have a V-Ray Extra toolbar, which has the batch renderer and uh, a couple of other buttons to choose depth of field and perspective correction. So now just going to check that V-Ray is working just by drawing a little bit of geometry and pressing the render button. And you can see here that the V-Ray frame buffer opens and we're all good to go. So if the installation procedure was followed correctly and the USB key was installed at the time of restart, then your V-Ray for Rhino plugin should be functioning correctly. If you start your machine without the USB key in and you try to perform a render, you will see this error code here, could not obtain a license. If you see this code and you know that you haven't got your USB key plugged in, then uh, simply plug the USB key in, go to your Start menu, go to All Applications, Chaos Group, and then run Launch V-Ray License Server. And you'll now be able to render successfully. So when you restart the machine with the USB hardware lock in place, the license server automatically starts at startup. Whereas if you start the machine without the USB key in, on putting the USB key in, you need to manually start the license server as we just did. If you're still seeing the could not obtain a license error, then the first thing we need to check is that your computer is communicating correctly with the USB license key. We can do this with a simple web browser check. Open up a web browser and type in this address. When we do this, we should see a page similar to this that lists the licenses that we have on the USB hardware lock. If you can't get access to this page, then it's possible that you have some antivirus software or port blocking software that is blocking access to the port in question. And this is the port 30304 that your machine needs to have open to allow access to the USB license key and you may find that some commercial antivirus programs or firewall programs will block access to this port. If you can see this page but you're still seeing license issues then there are two other quick things that you can check. First of all go to the task manager and make sure that your V-Ray license service is running. Click on the services tab and look for VRL service. This should be running. 
If the service is running, then we need to check that the license server is actually looking in the right place for the V-Ray license. Go to your Start menu, go to All Applications, Chaos Group, and open up Change V-Ray Client License Settings. Here we want to make sure that the license server says localhost and the connection port is 30304 and on a local installation this is what the license server and connection port should be set to. Now let's take a look at how we install V-Ray for a network installation. This is where we want to house the license remotely from our local machine. So in this case my local machine is here, SR Workstation, and I have another machine called Workstation here which for the purpose of this exercise I'm going to treat as a server. So I'm going to install just the license components on the Workstation and have my uh, installation of V-Ray and Rhino on the local machine. So I'm now on the machine that we're using as a server and I'm going to install the V-Ray for Rhino software. I'm going to accept the agreement and this time I'm just going to install the tools necessary for dongle licensing. So I'm going to install the Wibu key runtime software and the utilities for dongle licensing. I'm not going to install V-Ray for Rhino or any of the other tools. And let the installation run. and again go through the Wibu key setup and skip the readme and wait uh, for V-Ray to create the uninstaller register V-Ray license server as a service and finish at this stage we should now insert the USB hardware lock into the server and restart the machine. We can verify that the license service is running by going to our start menu, all apps, chaos group and launch V-Ray license server. If we see an error like this saying cannot start VRL license server due to another instance running then we know that we already have uh, an instance of the license server running so we're good to go. So at this stage there is nothing different about the installation process other than the fact that we have chosen to not install some of the components. So the license management software and the USB key driver are installed as a local installation on our server. Okay so now I'm back on my local machine which is this machine here and my USB key and licensing software is installed on the workstation which is our server. So on a local machine a good way of installing software for a network installation is to install all of the license components as we did at the start of this video in other words in exactly the same manner as if you were doing a local installation then all we need to do is to change where V-Ray looks for the license so we can do this by going to the start menu all apps chaos group and change V-Ray client license settings. So if we've done a default installation we'll have localhost as the license server. All we need to do now is to 
instead of localhost, type in the name of our server, which in this case is workstation, and hit OK. Then I can start up Rhino. create a piece of test geometry and render and you'll see that V-Ray sees the license across the network and renders away quite happily. If you want to check that your local machine can see the license on the network then you can again use the web browser check and type in an address similar to this to check access to the license. So again we'll open up a web browser, type in my server address and we'll see exactly the same information that we saw before from our license key except for this time it's placed on a different machine. If you're unable to see the remote license information via a web browser then it's very unlikely that your V-Ray installation is going to work. In this case, check that the installation is correct on both the remote and the local machines. Check that the server name is specified correctly and has the correct path so that your remote machine can see the server and also check that there's no port blocking or antivirus software that is preventing access to the relevant port which is 30304 on your server. I hope this video has been useful and please do check back regularly for V-Ray for Rhino and Rhino training videos on our video channels.